What's up guys, it's Tenkosh and it's Legendary Master Idol. First Days Guide and First Impressions at the same time, so you will know how the game is and how to play it. Early Guide, so let's go. This is another game from Moby Rix. It have a lot of similarities with other idol games that we played before. So you probably know most of it already. Here you get the skills, here you get other type of skills for special currency that give you percentage bonus. You get some sort of ascension progression. You get, well, that's something new. Another way of leveling up to get the to another ascension, I guess. I don't know. So, um, and more ways to get stronger. So a lot, a lot of things here are similar to other games, but there are different things as well. Let's go over those. First of all, there is a hit list. Basically, that's amount of enemies that you defeat. And when you defeat them, you will get bonuses for collecting enough kills. So, for example, for those guys, we defeated uh, 161 of those, and we've got 500 health for that, so most of those stats for HP, but some of those for striking power, which is attack, so those are the best. Same for the bosses, when you defeat the bosses, first of all, you will receive some premium currency, and you will get HP bonus as well, or attack bonus, depending on who you defeat. So that's pretty cool, as you farm you will get stronger and those bonuses are actually getting higher and higher as you go. Another thing that you can uh, produce reforging stones by upgrading them, those stones are used to tear up your gear and this is taken from another game. I've seen this first on Immortal Rising I think, so that's new, same stuff, you can produce skill books that you can use to get the skill, so that's from that game. As for the growth stats, those are pretty similar. Once again, in this game, your health doesn't matter that much. You just need to level up as a secondary stat. Your top priority is getting the attack. You can get multiple upgrades, like stronger or weaker. And uh, what do we have here? Striking power, which is attack, very important. Move speed, not that important. HP, not that important. Attack speed might be important. Silver gold, silver coin gain, that's like the money income. That's pretty good, but secondary as well. Striking power by percentage. Now, this is very good because it allows you to get percentage gain of your power and it's very important that's a multiplier hp percentage might be good as well if you're dying then we get a fatal strike a fatal blow like hood and damage that's a critical strike for us after that we get item acquisition cooldown time and extreme like that's double strike so uh it's been calculated after you finish your main strike for dark spirit enchantment those are being rewarded you when you level up and uh well mostly when you level up right so those are harder to come by let's put it like that and here you get kind of the same bonuses and uh as always your damage should be the priority so go for uh, critical chance for attack power for critical damage that kind of stuff everything else doesn't really work to go for here you can reset it for 300 premium currency which is not that much it's pretty cheap so if you made some mistakes here no worries you can redo it later inner power train here you get those points, spend them and you get those stats up and when you get high enough you can get the random effect that you can roll later to get specific bonuses. I don't have those available yet but I think that here you can get strike power which is attack power which is the main stuff that you should get here we roll for that. There are no presets for this which is not good. Grade level up, that's another way of leveling up, I have no idea how it's different from everything else. But you got different type of resources to level up here. You can also grade up. And that probably should give you higher damage or stats. We will see. Maybe we'll get enough of those today. And same stuff here. Mainly go for damage. Then for critical. That kind of stuff. Soul craving. Soul carving is a new stuff. We just got it right now. Can we level it up? No. When you level up here, you get massive bonus to striking power. 10,000 damage and max striking power of a weapon. 10,000 damage is more than we got overall in striking power. So that's very powerful and will allow you to push forward easier. Now let's move on to the equipment. We got three types of equipment, weapon, armor, and accessory. Armor is secondary, it gives you HP and HP percentage. Weapon is the most important, it's striking power and striking power increased by percentage. And accessory that gives you critical, basically. And you get some random effects here that you can get. Moreover, you got retention effect. That's been a bonus for you for owning the equipment. And the bonus for owning the equipment, it seems it doesn't add up unless you upgrade the weapon. So let's see. We got this one to level 6. And it gives us 4.10%. This one have level 3. Same stuff. So maybe it's based on the reforge equipment level. Let's try on... Yeah, it's reforge equipment level, I think. 
Let's try on this sword. Let's enchant it a bit. No, no retention effect. But reforge equipment. Let's see. Bam. We will get striking power bonus for that. So you should kind of reforge um, your lower tier equipment as well. I'm actually curious. Yeah, the higher tier reforge equipment have higher bonuses for you. So it's better to work on the higher tier stuff. But you should still upgrade the stuff that's most important for you. Of course, you can promote equipment by getting it to the higher tier. And that higher tier is usually better than what you have here. As for tiers, we got the comma, uh, comma that's C B A S S R U U plus U R. So something like that. And chance give you the striking power, so it's important for your top tier weapon that's equipped, and your forge will give you higher max enchantment level. So at some point you will have to do reforge anyway and increase striking power percentage by some amount so it will be better uh, giving you additional multiplier. You got a bunch of skills here, they are divided in four uh, types, non people land sky. I haven't really figured out how they kind of work against each other, what's the point of dividing them into different styles, but they are there and they, they look pretty cool guys, take a look at the fighting, it, it, we're fighting the boss right now. It looks really nice. So we're using a lot of different skills here. And we won't be able to kill this boss in time. So we need more DPS to go further. Can we? No. Close. No, close. So in order to make it better, we can do the draw. And uh, I'm not sure what to draw right now. Since uh, we have U rarity sword. I got lucky with that. And there is no point pulling for the sword right now. Because the probability of getting U... Oh, it's 3%. That's actually pretty high. And you can get UR as well. Okay, probabilities are going higher really fast. So, uh, when you're drawing something... I don't draw weapons or accessories for the critical or skills. Armor, it's nice to have, but it's not that important. So, let's do some draws here. And make a big one. Oh, that's a lot of U stuff. So, we can get the UR maybe. Let's do it again. I want to get UR stuff. A lot of high rarity things. That's nice. Getting use. Getting UR. Mm, legit. So we've spent a lot of resources and this is like maybe two hours into the game and I already got really high tier weapon. So let's get the free rewards as well. As you can guess guys, the more you draw, the higher your chances will be to get higher tier weapon. Because you fill up this thing, you will get the free weapon for that and your probabilities increase. So there we go, better weapon, which is <laughs> way better, nice. So it's not equipped, uh, not upgraded at all, but it's so good, look at that. That's crazy difference. And we can promote the rest of the swords here so we can get more variety, which we can upgrade later on. Let's reforge this a bit. We got resources plus six. That gives it 9% strike and damage, 30% extra. That's not that much. Uh, here and some striking power increase, which it's not crazy. It's 2% per level, by the way. So we will have to level it later. But yeah, what's cool that right now we can take out those guys and go through the bosses again to the further levels. You get the relics as well, which are locked for me right now. And mystical creature, which is locked as well. Oh, we got the boss. Let's see how different the fight will be with the boss right now with the better weapon. Oh, it's so much different. Look at that. It's suffering. It doesn't stand the chance against us. Oh my god. That's very good. Yeah, it's done. So we already saw the summons. You can also summon reforging stones. It's cheap, actually. I'm surprised that you can use to reforge the weapon to give it more bonuses. But I'm not entirely sure it's necessary because you get plenty of those from the uh, from the fights, from the kills. So I don't know if it's worth it or not. Then we got the challenges, which are dungeons. We got the one that gives you gold, the one that gives you... Uh, what are those things? The things for the character upgrade and cracking the abyss that give you additional stats. Let me watch some ads to get extra keys so I can show you how they work. Oh yeah, ads. Uh, the shop. We got a lot of stuff here. We got no ad package here for about about 7 to 10 USD. Depends where you are. So that's... If you want to play the game long term, that probably will be the best option. You get a costume option here, which is nice, but it's not that crazy. So there we go. Yes, you can get extra keys here, but you can buy them with the premium currency like in other games. You can buy them only with watching an ad. So that's a bit annoying, but 
we don't have any options right now. Moreover, other than that, you can buy stuff, uh, like get stuff for free. There is some pack available daily for free rewards, and you can use a purple jade that you get from the summons to buy stuff here. So we can get grade U equipment box or grade U skill box, depending on what do we want. I think we want this skill because we already got the equipment and it's easy to get. So let's get the skills and see what do we get. Maybe that will be better than what we have. In any case, we can go to the dungeons right now. You can make your own presets for this. Right now, I don't have that many things, so I'll go with my main one. And uh, this is the evil spirit. We gotta destroy 90 mobs here in the in one minute, basically. In the limited amount of time. Good stuff that we got the new skills, because... The monsters are going down way faster right now. That's really nice. Yeah, we should be able to do it, no problem. So, that's why you want to focus on the damage. Because over here, it doesn't matter how much health do you have. Because you probably won't be killed. But if you lack damage, you won't be able to progress further. And those keys are limited per day. So, you, won't, you will slow down your progression, basically. This one is even more different here. First, let's upgrade the weapon. I want to see if this striking power will increase where we when we enchant it. Nine percent, right? Nine percent. It doesn't increase. Yeah, it stays at nine percent, so not much different. Okay, so yeah, let's go back to this area. Here, you would like to join in and start from stage one and do the maximum damage to this crystal. So your goal will be maxing out the damage here. So it's basically a damage check, single target damage check. So you might want to make specific guide with single target damage. Right now I'm too lazy to do it, so I'll go just with what I have. And the higher damage you can do, the more rewards you will get from this. Yeah, of those things that make your character stronger, basically. I can say that Lightning seems to be a really powerful skill, so it's a good stuff that we got at those U tier skills. That's a lot of progress. Last time we were stuck at stage 5, I think. Now it's stage 15. That's a lot more of those jade things. And when you're done and you don't want to push anymore, you can wipe it and get the rewards for your best result the abyss is kind of the same it, it kind of looks weird though because the enemies here are like like zombie guys so yeah but the idea is the same take out enemies in the time you have and when you're done you will get the reward pretty straightforward basically after that you put those to good use to well upgrade yourself and uh yeah and, and just move from there doing the same thing okay, let's make it times five. Oh, we can grade up now Cool. So that increases striking power and makes HP not a multiplier but flat bonus and unlocks the new stuff for us. That's interesting. Other than that, the game have a lot of missions that give you different things. So yeah, we got the costumes, we got the things here and there. You get the hit list. Uh, we're talking about this already, okay? Let's just collect our rewards. Costumes, those things give you passive bonuses. So when you have them, when you uh, acquire them, you already get the bonus by default. So you don't really need to switch to it unless you really like it. The game doesn't like my nickname. Somewhere stand Korsh cannot be used. Weird. Maybe Korsh can be used as well. So somewhere it doesn't allow me to change the nickname. That's weird. So I had to change it to SK because they don't like Korsh. Somewhere. Uh, probably some stupid Korean filter again and uh, yeah sadly that's the only problem that we have with the game right now we unlock mystical creatures so let's see egg of the bird growth uh, growth my god challenge another dungeon let's go that's a different bird dungeon by the way but yeah we got the egg with us right now so that will be something like a pet i think pet mechanics let's grow the ice dragon it just gets striking power right now okay what's cool about that that the sum of all levels of mythical creatures actually affects the stats of each creature so increase striking power like of extreme fatal blow cooldown time lower damage of extreme fatal blow interesting Look, they're different. They're the same. I thought that they will have different stats or something, but it doesn't seem so. Uh, right now, it kind of shows the same stats. It's just those stats on the left equipment effect is different based on the character. Okay. So, yeah, relics are locked for me right now. The other things that we haven't seen today are uh, Infinite Tower. I don't even have to explain about this to you guys. It's just the level after level progression pretty straightforward and sparring rule which will be the pvp so nothing uh that we haven't seen before and yeah other than that there are not many things you can do here you got the rank as well let's take a look how far are we 4k okay sparring groom rank we're not there yet but 
Yeah, some people are in chapter 13 already with some paid to win options, I guess. So yeah, the game, uh, what I like about this game is the style though. The aesthetics of Chinese medieval times are really cool here because character looks nice, attacks looks nice, animation looks nice. Overall, as for the mechanics, it's a pretty generic idle game. Everything we've seen before, a bit stuff uh, that I mixed up, like produce and hit list. But other than that, nothing crazy. So yeah, if you like the aesthetics, you might want to give it a go. Other than that, I don't know. It's, it's the same as everything else. I'm curious what relics will be, but I don't think that they will give you something unique. The amount of premium currency you are getting here from everything is pretty high though. So. You won't be uh, starve on those, so you will be able to summon quite a lot of things quite easily if you want to. So don't worry about that. That's a good thing, actually, because you can get these things, you can get those things and, you know, make your character how you want them to be. And I really think that once you get a pretty good weapon, you should focus your draws on the skills because, well, the best option would be getting UR plus... What's, what's that? Here, the highest tier weapon, right? Yeah, this one, you are plus, 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 because it's very good, but it will take so much time to get it, that if you get something like you are early game, you might chill for now, upgrade this one, and focus on skills and other stuff for a while, and then come back to it, because you will need that weapon anyway. Another good things that are available in this game is that you get automatic stage push, so we won't have to manually click it all the time, so we can just leave it running in the background and it will work. Uh, you can farm in the background, I think it will be more efficient than offline farming. In order to do that, you might want to get LD player, the link will be in the description down below in the pin comment, I use it all the time for most idle games, because it's way more convenient to play idle games like that on the PC, while your phone can be chill and you can do whatever you want with it. So yeah guys, that's basically all I wanted to tell you about Legendary Master Idol, uh, let me know what you think about this game down below in the comments and what you think about this video guide while going there don't forget to like the video subscribe to this channel check out the video description because we got other youtube channels there ld player uh other game playlists and a lot of other useful stuff you will find something there for sure like discord for example nice place to be and yeah other than that thank you very much for watching that's about it for now stan kosh out have a good one bye